You're listening to Inside Melbourne, the official podcast of the Melbourne Football Club. Proudly presented by Zurich Insurance, ensuring the things you truly love, like this podcast. Welcome to episode six of Inside Melbourne. My name is Ben Gibson here with Lil. We're flying through the season, aren't we, Lil? We're having a cracking season. I'm loving it. Yeah. This is better than playing footy. Absolutely. Sitting here with you, loving now, it. Now, I should mention the last two weeks, listeners may have noticed the audio was a little bit off. Um, don't want to take all the blame, but one of the mics wasn't recording properly. Yeah, you've had to do this two weeks in a row now. Disappointing. Well, so we're just sure discussing right. and you never make the same mistake three times. So I think we're going to be good We today. fixed it. We brought Steph in. He's, you got the sound going. Yeah, it looks like we've got the Give us a thumbs up. Yeah, it's yeah, working. We're on. All right. we're on today. All right, it's introduce be a good our guest. Let's move on. Two guests, big guest. Um, one, first one, very important one, Catherine Smith. Smitty, welcome. Thank you. And we've also joined with a little rehab buddy, unfortunately, but uh, Shay Skids, Shano Sloan. Can welcome. You pick any nickname you want. <laughs> you do have Thanks. a few nicknames, don't you? I do, yeah. I've managed to cop all of them at the moment. So. What's your favourite? Um, and don't say Sloney. Yeah, I reckon Sloney's probably my No, favorite. no, I said don't yeah. say Sloney. <laughs> that's the one I'll go surely. with. Skids is probably, yeah. Skids probably is good. That's, yeah. Do you Everyone rolls ask with. stories behind these nicknames or not? I actually um, don't know it. <laughs> oh, that one was just an unfortunate quiz. Paddy McKenna set me up and asked <laughs> who the worst driver was and said Shay Skid Sloan and... I'm, well, I'm definitely not the worst driver. <laughs> I went to Casey <laughs> Sheriff, but the nickname <laughs> came out of it as well. So, um, yeah, he's really set me up for that one. There you go. Obviously, you two are both in rehab, ACL injury, so we'll get that talk out of the way nice and early. Uh, it's it's not ideal, that's for sure. Shay, it was your second one in 12 months. Pretty tough to take. Yeah, definitely it was. It, um, yeah, when I did it, it was about 10 months post my last one um, and I was feeling pretty good. Got back to full training, did a heap of work to get back and then obviously pretty unfortunate circumstances, tackling Edo and getting stuck underneath her and just bending your leg that a, like a way that a leg really shouldn't bend, I suppose. But, um, yeah, it was really disappointing. I was pretty excited to get back and playing with the girls. But, um, yeah, it's been nice having Smitty this time around. As unfortunate <laughs> as it is having other people, it's, yeah, been a bit of a different sort of rehab side of things, um, having some company as well. So, going well. And was that sort of the hardest pill to swallow, knowing that sort of if anyone was in that position they probably would have done their knee too. It wasn't the fact that your rehab wasn't quite at the point it should have been, but it was just the fact that your knee was in a really vulnerable spot. Yeah, definitely. I haven't gone back and watched it yet, but I remember the feeling of it at the time. And um, a few people who have watched it said how gross it was to actually see the leg bend that way. But I think during training in those four weeks that I was training, I landed probably similarly to the way that I actually did my knee the first time around and felt so strong and um, knew that I'd done all the work to make sure that my leg was strong enough to be back. So it had nothing to do with that. It was just one of those really unfortunate circumstances, I suppose. It can be an innocuous injury sometimes. What was yours like, Smitty? Uh, yeah, mine was in a tackle. So we were playing handball Snicko, one of my favourite games, and I've tackled Jano um, and my leg's just gone a bit wider than it should have. So. Um, yeah, obviously the contact doesn't help in those situations and yeah, the SNC staff also looked back and were like, yeah, probably a lot of people would have done in that situation as well. Was it something you knew straight away that it was probably ACL? Yeah, like in my head I was like a few swear words, that's my ACL, that's my 2020 and like the physios were like, oh, just wait till like you have your scan but hearing the pop, feeling the pain and I guess knowing from all the girls' experiences, you, you know what it's like, know what it's like for them so yeah I was pretty confident that it happened. It has been a big talking point throughout the season obviously camping Mad Gurion went down as well. Do you have any idea why it's so common at the moment? Nah no, no idea. idea. <laughs> There's all I these think, things. Yeah if anyone knew then all of us wouldn't be doing our ACLs at the moment. It's obviously something that the AFL are doing a heap of research into at the moment and looking at all the different avenues around it and what it is that's actually causing it but there's so many different factors that come into it and I've got mates like I said last year as well but even friends playing basketball this year who've done knees and netball and volleyball and every sport sort of thing it's just one of those injuries that you know does come with playing a sport it is unfortunate but um, it would be good to know an answer behind why they actually happen but yeah, unfortunately, there's probably so many different circumstances around everyone's. And Brooke Patterson, who's a former player and current member of the coaching panel, she's right into her research at the ACLs. Has she been picking your brains? Yeah, there's been heaps of conversations with Brooke about it and like surgery, no surgery, 
um, what's the avenue to go down? Why is it happening? And I think every week we normally get stuck in a conversation because there's a new, new new news article out and we just kind of pick her brain about it. But she's been fantastic to just support us through it. Yeah. She actually did a podcast the other day um, and said that only – she say only the best players have done their ACLs. So, <laughs> so we're I've taking played, it. Yeah, I've played half a game of football and I'll take that. It was a bloody good yeah, half. <laughs> <laughs> she worked so hard. I was actually was walking down Swan Street today and I heard a little voice pop out of a uh, cafe and there Pato was writing her thesis. So she's doing enormous amount of work. So no doubt a great resource to have at the footy club. Yeah, we definitely. touched on how there was four of you in that little group at the moment. Has it been good, I guess, to have the company of your teammates and out on the track boxing and being in it together yeah so we've made a boxing club which has been unreal it's a bit of fun <laughs> get a bit of frustration out but also like do a bit of fitness um and it's just good having other people who are going through something similar and like i think i've asked Sloane that many questions because she's been through it before and i had no idea what it was like um but also just having like sometimes you're up sometimes you're down but you've always got someone there and someone to swim with or doing it up at ergo with it's been really good to have people yeah definitely it's so different to last year as well like i was the only injured player on the list for the whole season, which was a good thing for our list, and um, but probably a pretty lonely place for me to be, I suppose. So this year having people there to bounce off has been, yeah, really fortunate. And I think as Smitty's about a month ahead of me, it's kind of nice seeing where she's at and you go, oh, yeah, I forget that I can get mm -hmm. to that point <laughs> over the next two or three weeks sort of thing. So, um, yeah, it's good to have people around, but you also wish that they weren't in this situation at the same time because you know that... It is a pretty long, long road back to get back. So wouldn't wish it on anyone. And Shay, you've been able to do a bit of coaching as well on the back of this injury. Have you enjoyed that sort of role sitting on the bench, getting a part of it? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's been nice to be on the bench and still involved. Yeah, right there with the with the girls and kind of being able to help them through things. And um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Last year I was up in the box and this year down on the bench. And I think I prefer being on the bench in the thick of it and... Um, yeah, you can ask Smitty about the box. <laughs> yeah, what what have you seen in the box, Smitty? I'm sure it's pretty volatile. Yeah, it gets pretty intense. Times. It's kind of – Mick's very calm. Mick's unreal. He's very calm. Of course he is. The other personalities of the coaches come out. Sometimes you get a bit of a, like a slap on the table, a bit of frustration. But um, it's been a really good learning experience in the box. And um, working with Kane on rotations, that's – obviously you have to be on your feet and you always try and get people off the ground. But learning lots, there's lots of fun up there. But – yeah, intense. If you're going to throw anyone on the bus, who who is it going to be? Um, Paddy Mack had a big <laughs> table slap the other week <laughs> when a 50 minute penalty was um, held. So he kind of, the, the whole table shook at that one. Yeah, yeah, okay, fair enough. These injuries have brought about an opportunity for Sarah Perkins who debuted on the weekend. Smitty, you got to hand over that jumper, special occasion for you. Yeah, so me and Perko, my first season, I was 12 years old when I played with Perko and she was 18. Um, and we actually won the BNF together at that club. Um, and that was really special. We've been friends for 10 years. Um, so she's had a really, I guess, up and down journey in her AFL career, um, which I kind of been there with her and to kind of give her a jersey was really special and see her prove people wrong yet again um, was something special. That last goal was just like icing on the cake. Like it was just perfect for her to have that. So hopefully she gets more opportunities it was a great day for the club, 59 point winners over the Eagles and another debutant as well, Brenna Tarrant. It's, there's a fair few girls that are getting to pull on the jumper for the first time, which is exciting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah super exciting. Um, yeah, I guess that's probably been one of our biggest strengths as a team this year is that, yeah, we've had players go down, but more and more girls are just being able to step up and play in the side and just fulfilling the role. So, yeah, there hasn't been sort of – there's been some dominant performers that are – doing their bit week in, week out. But I think sort of the bottom to the top are all uh, pulling the weight equally and, and that's why we are getting good results on the board. One of those dominant performers is Karen Paxman. She's currently fifth in the Coaches of uh, MVP award. She's on fire, isn't she? She's a just she's just a weapon. Yeah, she's an absolute she, freak. Oh, I don't know how she does it. And she just does it so effortlessly. Yeah, she doesn't stop. No. Doesn't stop. Her and she's just there and then she's at the next Runs contest and suddenly she's kicking goals and... <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty and she's amazing laughing, to watch. being all cheeky, and yeah. then she's like, "Oh, I'm being all serious." Like, oh, yeah. she's she can do it all. She's I, very impressive. I also liked the look of the Irish girls on the weekend. Both got in the coaches' votes. So, Neve kicked her first goal. Goldie had about thirteen as well. They're really adding something to the side, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. When they first came across, I think we we're all pretty surprised at how fast they were, and now that speed's kind of coming into play with their footy skills that they've picked up over the last few weeks as well. So it's awesome to see them, yeah, starting to actually understand the game and. Um, put their skills into place. They're, yeah, really exciting to watch. It's Bring just a whole different dynamic. Sorry. It's just so funny. They just look for each other. Like, have you seen <laughs> yeah. Goldie come off the halfback and give it to anyone 
bar macca. Like they just, <laughs> I think they just go off on their own tangent and some reason they've got some little Irish like telepathic sort of thing where they can sense what one another's doing and everyone else has got no idea so they just somehow <laughs> just connect away, and run link up. Direction. Yeah, it was it's a, great to watch. It was an attacking game. We kicked 10 goals, five in a row in the third quarter but our defence has been really solid this year. Only conceded 84 points for the whole year which is about I think 32 less than any other side. It's holding up well, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's been really impressive. Having days down there, I know for the girls, there's been lots of instruction. It's pretty um, good having them down there, like to be able to instruct all the other girls. And like Lampard, who's been with us for ages, Meg Downey, it's a pretty consistent backline crew. And then when you add the speed of Goldie, like it's very exciting. And one other thing I want to touch on from Saturday, Sunday's game is I noticed at half time, Tegan Cunningham, she likes to run onto the ground last. <laughs> I don't know why, it's a superstition, but Daisy was stuck in the room somewhere. And she was waiting and waiting and waiting for Daisy to run on the field so she could go out last, but eventually had to just go. So do you know what that superstition is all about? No, I, I don't she's, think I've noticed She's it always done it. Yeah, I have no idea why, but she's just always done it. We were having a bit of a watch at the start of the game too and it looked like Perko also had a pretty similar superstition. So oh. there was a little bit of the, <laughs> the mini steps oh, yeah. happening and the looking. And, um, Rexy won that little argument and she managed to push Perko out in front of her and <laughs> she got at the back. That was a little tap Yeah, going. it was. It was nice. Nah, you Time go. go. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was pretty pretty funny seeing her look uncomfortable when Daze wasn't, wasn't quite ready yet. So... Yeah, might have to stitch her up a few times on that. Yeah, very interesting. Now, we're going to move on to a very popular segment, Lil's Quiz. Do you want to take it away, Lil? Yeah, great quiz. So I'm oh, sure no one else has listened to the podcast. So have either of you listened? Uh, yeah, okay. That's the response <laughs> anyway. So don't feel too bad. Turn it on but during one of the rehab what's sessions. What's the highlights? What's the highlights? Yeah. highlights are fun. Lil's Quiz, um, buzzer. So test your buzzer. could be name, just whatever you like. Test. Yep. Smitty. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit broken. <laughs> okay, question number one. Who kicked the first goal of the game this weekend? Yay. <laughs> Jeez, we must have been busy doing Three, all the rotations. Two, two, one. Rotation Someone buzz in. Um, Shay. Yep. Eden Zanka. Correct. Yes. Good, one yes. point. It's a real test yeah. of how well they've been paying attention. Yeah. 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 It's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, coaches. <laughs> Question number two. What was the margin at half time? Shay. Yes. Shay. 11. Correct. Yes. Very good. Well, kids on fire. Woo. <laughs> Question number three. How many touches did I have? Shay. Shay. <laughs> 11. Mm. Close. 13. Close. 15. <laughs> no, doubt. In between. 10, 14. 14. Neither of you 12. get that point. 12. <laughs> <laughs> Question number four. How many debutantes have we had this season, including girls from other teams? So debutantes for the club. Bonus points if you can name all of them. In a timely fa fashion. Yeah. Can I name them first? Yeah, sure. Oh, Shay. Shay. <laughs> oh, Shay, come on. Uh, Perko. Correct. Brenner. Correct. Goldie. Yep. Macca. Yep. Lib. Yep. Um, Gabby Colvin. Yep. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. No. No, there's Is a couple. There's a couple. Yeah, more. <laughs> Case Sheriff. Correct. Oh, yeah. One more. One, One more. more. One more. Oh, sorry, this person. I think Marvel Stadium. Oh Jackie. oh, Jackie Perry. Jackie Perry. Jackie Perry. I don't know. Perry. That's a point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think any of you get anyway. it. Good away. teamwork. Great though. to get like shout outs though. Um, question number five. What is our percentage? Shay. Yep. 200 and 14. <laughs> Correct. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Well done. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. I think yeah. I got that. Wow. Well, you would have got it. percentage in the comp at the moment. Oh, yeah, I've, yeah. I've been all about the percentage this year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really gave me a close eye. Yeah, we need it. Um... Question number six. How many times have we won the inside 50 count this season? Shay. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Smitty. Smitty, Smitty says. Uh, yeah. Give it a test. <laughs> Smitty. Um, five. Yeah. Incorrect. Oh. Four. Correct. Oh, Smitty, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, last question. Do we have a tell? Who's winning this? I think Shay, but only because she's been more willing to actually yeah, guess. Yeah, I've been thinking so them through. Shay, <laughs> Shay just wins this, but last question. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of Libby's dog? Shay. <laughs> yeah, Shay. <laughs> <laughs> Still breaking over there. Uh, Cooper. 
Correct. Well can done. Can you test Very your cute. buzzer for Smitty. it? Oh, it does work. So. <laughs> Let's just, well done, Sloney. What a great, Very dumb dumb Sloney. Thanks what a great moment that was having Cooper on the field. Like we, We've seen nice? Daisy bring her kids out, but it was nice to have a dog out on the field. Oh, bring, bring me a puppy yeah. every day of the week. <laughs> I think I'm more ready it. for a puppy than kids as well. So it's Most definitely, <laughs> Sloney. <laughs> I'm I'm a puppy puppy. <laughs> Very good. Well, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back after this with questions from the outer. Thanks to our co-principal partner and podcast sponsor, Zurich Insurance. For over 100 years, they've been insuring the people and things you truly love. And just like you, they truly love footy and they truly love the Ds. This is Inside Melbourne here with Shay Sloan, Kat Smith and Lily Mithen. Lil, do you want to fire off a question from the outer? Yeah, sure. Aussie Trooper has asked, what's your favourite Disney classic movie? Oh, The Lion King. Nice one. Definitely that is really, the Lion Yeah, King. definitely Lion King. I must yeah. say there were a lot of submissions of questions this week, which Ooh. was really good to see on the Insta Popular. story. Well done. Yeah, look, let's go. So <laughs> maybe we found the two favourites. Holly asked nine questions. We're not going to ask all of them. But <laughs> good on you, Holly. Thank you, Holly. Oh, thank you. Well, Holly. <laughs> Holly just wants to be in the new Nikki. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Nikki's got a few as well. But Holly asks, who did you look up to when you were growing up? Uh, mine was actually Erin Phillips. So basketball background as well. Um, Loved her on the basketball court and now she's playing footy, so that's even awesome. Perfect. Um, mine actually used to be Kathy Freeman. I used to be, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, used to do athletics and always wanted to be an Olympian and she was always the one I wanted to be like. What about you, Lil? Sorry, I actually wasn't, I was waiting for the, <laughs> the next question. question. Well, was <laughs> who you looked up to when you were older, you don't, uh, when you were younger, you don't have to answer if you don't like. Who I looked up to? Oh, Matthew Richardson was a... In terms of a footy icon, he was one. I always wanted to be him, which pretty unrealistic standing yeah, at that was 158 <laughs> centimetres and about 53 kilos. So, you know, I could be him one day, but he did take play a lot on the of wing eating. towards the end of his career, so. Yeah. yeah. We'll see of, how it goes. Yeah. I think I'll give up that dream. Um, another question Who's your bestest friend from Beck Eddy? <laughs> which I think is directed <laughs> at Smitty. Yeah, I'm definitely Beck Eddy. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the end of that. So I'm going to ask another one. How do you keep your spirits up in rehab? A question from Emily. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I think for me it's just doing different sort of exercises. Uh, I don't know if you can tell at the moment, but I've got wet hair and <laughs> droopy eyes and I've just been for a swim. So that's kind of a nice little outlet for me. And then, um, yeah, getting into the gym, doing some different things, I suppose, or, yeah, going out, catching up with people, trying to take your mind off the fact that you're a little bit injured. But... Yeah, keep mixing it up, I think. Yeah, definitely. I think I've had this new love for boxing, which has come about. Mm -hmm. So that's been fun. That's been um, really good. And then, yeah, just like Sonia said, um, catching up with different people and talking to people about it and um, also having time away from, like, footy and your knees has been really important as well. Spinny, you've mentioned boxing a few times. Mm. Are we going to see you in the ring? I think we this should do it. This is a question I think, do it. <laughs> I think you should take on Tal Harris. I reckon we could make that happen. Let's do it. I'm in your oh. corner. Oh. <laughs> Bill's in my corner. Yeah. Who's the best boxer at the club? Not me. No. But Kempi does do a big hit. You're pretty good. Thanks, Lil. Thanks. She didn't want to say it. Yeah, I didn't want to say it. She was not going to say anyone else. She was like, yeah. it's clearly me. She's the best boxer at the club. Harriet Cordner wants to know who has the bigger biceps out of the two of you. Do we compare? Oh, Smitty, 100%. <laughs> I won't even try and compete for that one either. Yeah, Smitty. Thanks, Lily. Welcome. You don't Ego have boost. to say that either. <laughs> Um, Maya wants to know, how healthy do you eat? Uh, yeah, pretty question. healthy. There was a bit of chocolate post-ACL. I'm not going to lie about that one, but, yeah, pretty healthy at the moment. I guess you have your treats here and there, especially once you do a rehab goal. We've had this new thing that's you have your moment and then you get to treat yourself with something. So I had a burger the other week, which is nice. It's a great result. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, what did Ke yeah. Kempi took herself to Macca's at 4 a.m. I think her mum took her off after that. <laughs> yeah. She found out she did her knee, so yeah. you need to treat yourself. I think everyone's done that. I'm a bit different. I eat really healthy during the days, but after every dinner I have to have a little snack, either chocolate or an ice cream. Wee Spars are my favourite at the moment. Oh, so yeah, mango? Yeah, mango. Yeah, so good. Yeah, been good. Uh, another question related to Cooper. Is there a better dog than Cooper at the club? There are a few few cute dogs going around. Uh, Kate Hall's dog. Yeah, yeah absolute, Bailey. So Bailey cute. Bay is absolutely adorable. Um, Nikki is wanting to know who kicks the, do the D's goal of the year. She's given some options. There's Parry, Zanka, Scott, Perkins, Miffin, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got all yet? Or Baldrick. <laughs> um, 
Newman. I'd probably go. No, there's no Newman here. Yeah, so I was going to say out of them, probably Edo. Yeah. Yeah. What about Scotty? Could Scotty, be Scotty she well. could do something special. She's going very well at the moment, Scotty. Being yeah, really raining out. What about Perko's almost goal when she took oh, the, the advantage that there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would have been a really good that goal. Would have been that could have. Anyway. Yeah, so I'd, who I'd probably like go with Edo. After the preseason, she kicked a few really good goals on me and it was pretty She's flying too. Yeah, she was I'd named. Be she was named best in rock the, for the weekend. Yeah, team yeah. of the week in the rock. Very good. Move over, Lozzie P. <laughs> One more question from Nikki. Did Lily have more difficulty navigating the windy conditions or getting through the banner on the weekend? <laughs> there was a tape on that, that banner. Well, that is a good one. Um, yeah, so I was running through the banner and you just run through a banner, I would like to think. Mm. But apparently you have to duck because the first layer of tape is like the really tricky bit <laughs> of tape. And because all our banners prior to this year have been, they just sort of have one strip slit down the middle and they just open up naturally. So... Um, I had much difficulty um, getting through the banner <laughs> and I got really stuck um, in there for quite some time and everyone had a good chuckle at that but navigated my way through it. The wind was also quite windy but it was fine. So I would actually say the banner was more difficult than the wind at Casey Fields. It was your first game back so we'll let you sort of ease into it yeah. maybe this yeah, week thanks. you can get through in one hit. Last one from Holly. What did you want your job to be when you were growing up? Um, other than playing footy. I was always thinking like PE teacher or something like that, but definitely it was like professional football or professional basketball. Would yeah, I would have, yeah. I'd probably say a professional sports person. Um, or I always wanted to be a picture book author, but oh. went into primary teaching and read picture books. So <laughs> maybe that's still an option that I can You can do that on the side. Picture. Yeah, I can't draw and I'm not very creative, so. It's <laughs> 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 a win-win. <laughs> but I'm sure that I could still find a way. But. What yeah. would you first... If you had to do one right now, what would oh it be God. about? Nah. Would you collab with like Alex Rance and do a footy? I oh might no. collab with you, Lil. Oh yeah, maybe, we could do maybe something. Maybe you and I can, how the short girl became Matthew Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> how Lil turned into Richard. <laughs> there we go. That's a good one. That yeah, would done. be worth That was creative. Yeah. Thank you. You've got a future. All right, well, we'll move on to this <laughs> week's game. Heading up to Alice Springs. Uh, obviously, Lil, you're the only one here that's going to be playing. Is, is it tough? Uh, playing the heat up there? Yeah, it is, it's warm. Um, and we actually, we've been really lucky with the heat in the um, last five games and in the preseason. We weren't sort of hit with too much heat, so it will be a little bit of a shock to the system. But um, a lot of the girls have played at Alice before, so it should be okay. It's, it's a pretty dry heat, so it's not like it's down where the humidity is ridiculous. It's pretty dry, so um, it'll be warm, but it's all pretty set up well with ice vests and the cool chambers and stuff like that. So um, I'm sure we'll get through fine, but um, I guess the positive is that Carlson in the exact same boat. They're travelling from Melbourne and um, haven't probably played in too much heat, heat either. So um, we'll get it done, hopefully. It is a massive game. Winner will be outright second on the ladder. Uh, pretty important to knock off the Blues. Yeah, definitely really important. And I think um, travelling is always a new aspect. It's the first time we're travelling as well, but um, full faith in the girls. And I think we're at a really good place and it's really exciting. So I'm more excited to see the girls go out there and kill it again. You speak about travelling. I believe us, Carlton and Collingwood will all be in the Virgin Lounge together come Friday. Do we see that being an issue or...? Will there be a bit of an out, <laughs> outrage? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Can we take a corner each? Or? Yeah, I'm might not be sure. something that we'll have to get the GoPro on to and film. Film it. Yeah. yeah. See what happens, see the, the sandwich bar, the awkwardness around. Yeah. <laughs> getting your coffee if there's Who's any going to toast the sandwich like, first? I think, we should, <laughs> I think we should just be really cold. Give them oh, nothing. Really cold, really savage. Yeah. Game face on. Game face. Yeah, similar to um, Adelaide Crows in the power stance. Power stance. Yeah. Yeah. Walk through that the lounge well in the power stance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'd know me about that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> one other positive about getting up to Alice Springs is playing in front of the community. The fans absolutely love it up there. Is that one of the real highlights? Yeah, it is great to see. And I think um, the three of us, we've all been up to Alice and headed out to communities before. So um, it's cool to know that we actually have been out and seen them before and they'll recognise us and um, they always jump on the D's bandwagon. So <laughs> we should have some um, some red and blue supporters out there, which would be good fun. And I just love watching them play, whether it be pre or post game, they kick a footy around and they do some things that I wish <laughs> I could do yeah. because yeah. they're Pretty unbelievable. 
Well, hopefully we have a very successful Saturday night. We're going to wrap things up now, let you get going. Thanks, Smitty. Thanks, Sloney. Enjoy your first podcast. Thank you. Yeah, that's Thank good. You. Great fun. Well done. Come back any time. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully the audio's worked. If not, uh, we might get a different host next week. Thanks, Lil. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. This has been Inside Melbourne, proudly brought to you by Zurich.